Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is October the 20th of 2023 and I'd like to share another word from the Lord with you today. Just a reminder, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel and you enjoy the content of it, please take a moment to subscribe and click the notification bell for notification of videos as they are released. For those of you who are new, this channel is dedicated to sharing prophetic word from the Lord with the body of Christ and with anyone else who happens upon this channel. These words are being released to bring encouragement in the trying times we are living in. Their intention is to bring hope because the Lord Jesus Christ gives us hope. The Lord has a good plan for his people and for his world. This word today is a follow-up message to the word sent out yesterday. The Lord, over time, has been speaking of his kingdom being extended throughout the whole earth. And though we may not be able to comprehend when that may take place, let alone how it could take place, the Lord has made it clear it is his intention and his plan to restore his world. In this word today, the Lord encourages us that he is working in relationships, and especially those within the household, that this is part of his plan to bring righteousness into the earth. I hope you will be blessed by this word. It is titled, Households in Order. I'll begin by reading scripture. Luke 18, verse 20. You know the commandments. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony. Honor your father and mother. This verse highlights several of the commandments of the Lord, those things the Lord expects from his people, and one of them is that children honor their father and mother. Ephesians 5 verse 33 However, each one of you also must love his wife, as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her husband. This verse also highlights an expectation of the Lord for his people in the marriage relationship. Second Peter 2 verses 18 through 19 for they mouth empty, boastful words, and by appealing to the lustful desires of the flesh, they entice people who are just escaping from those who live in error. They promise them freedom, while they themselves are slaves of depravity, for people are slaves to whatever has mastered them. This passage of Scripture speaks about the temptations by other people to draw us into the lustful desires of the flesh. People who are depraved and mastered by the enemy, not serving God. Colossians 3 verse 5 Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. This scripture verse highlights God's will that we put aside our lustful behaviors, that we die to the flesh and the carnal nature, to impurity, 
sexual immorality, and every other evil desire. I'll begin reading this word. I want to share more with you, says the Lord, more of my heart, more of what is to come, as I set up my kingdom rule in the earth, as my standard is implemented, and all things come into alignment with my will and purposes, as I revamp society to honor my name and my ways. Here is another glimpse of what is in store. I am dealing with relationships in this day. You look on the world and see chaos in every type of relationship. You see that my institution of marriage has been defiled and the children brought into confusion regarding their identity. But I tell you, things are about to change. My righteous standard for the home and family will prevail. I will pour out my spirit in great measure and bring the fear of the Lord to men's hearts. Watch me bring order into the home and into all society. I am taking power out of the hands of the ungodly and putting it into the hands of the godly. When all these things are in order, I will usher the lonely, the outcast, into the family of God and they will function in wholeness, for a standard of wholeness will be made apparent in the land, says the Lord. This is the standard I am erecting in this day. A man shall love his wife, and a wife respect her husband, and children shall honor their parents. These are the values that will be upheld. Every attempt to disrupt this standard will fail. I will bring conviction to the hearts of the people. A man's heart shall be for his wife and children. He will not look at others, but his desire will be for them. The estranged and the adulterer will be no more, for their powers will be broken. I am putting the household in order, and all will line up to its standards, says the Lord. I am removing the tempter's power. I am bridling the tongue of the vindictive, and I am changing the minds and hearts of the people. I am removing a stigma put upon women that they must look and act a certain way, and bringing liberty to those who have been held captive to this stigma. No longer will a woman be made an object for lustful behavior. Women will be respected for their ability to raise children and minister to their needs. Those who have been lured into illicit relationships will be released. Men who have lusted after women will be brought into the council and admonition of the Lord. Whole households shall be put in order and function according to the standard of the Lord. I am giving wisdom to those who have lacked it. I will establish wholesomeness in relationships between parents and children, men and women. I will decree a standard of wholesomeness in the land. No longer will industry dictate immoral and illicit relationships. I am building a structure into the earth whereby all its inhabitants shall come into right relationship with the Lord and with each other. Right relationship all across the board. This is what I have been building, and this is what will emerge when the old structure is brought down. The family, the household, is the structure that I choose to work through. No other shall come into competition with it. Salvation shall come to whole households, and the whole household shall work together to honor the Lord. Every aspect of it shall come into line. The intruder shall be expelled. 
Music that brings division in a home will be expelled. Publications, TV programs, commercials, films, etc. that violate my will will be expelled from the home. Anything used as bait to lure the people away from my standard will be made null and void, says the Lord. The church is an extension of the home. It welcomes in the homeless so that these might have a home. Its mandate is to bring the whole household into order. I am designing a habitation through which the households of the earth shall be blessed. I am extending my hand to those who need to come in line with my will and purpose for the home. I will establish the home as the center of activity, as the hub of ministry. No longer will outside forces compete with the home for precedence. The home will be honored and raised up in this day as the instrument I shall use to reach the masses with the message of hope. This is what I am building in this day. Whole households will be blessed through the work of the household, through its ministry. So open your doors to let in the homeless and teach them the counsel of the Lord. Instruct them in righteous behavior. Counsel them in the wisdom of the Lord. Close all doors to the intruder. In this word today, the Lord is sharing another glimpse of what his intention is to bring righteousness into the earth, to bring his kingdom in in its fullness. He is addressing household relationships how those in the family are to live together in alignment with God's intention for the household. The Lord has given us his laws, and these are the standards he is erecting in this day. The Lord is telling us he is taking power out of the hands of the ungodly and putting it into the hands of the godly. In my mind, that means the wicked will no longer have the upper hand. The Lord is giving power back to those who obey his word, who live in according to its standards, who honor righteousness. Although this word doesn't go into detail of how the Lord will do away with the evil in society, he is telling us that he is breaking the powers that have come against him, that have been in opposition to his will and purposes, that things are about to change, that his standards are being erected, and we will see them coming into place in households. The values the Lord intended for relationships will be upheld and the home and family will be blessed. I don't know about you, but I am encouraged by this word. The Lord is quite clear in scripture what he expects of those who put their trust in him. We are to put to death everything that is evil and to live wholesome lives in his sight and to teach others to do the same. We are to carry his standard of righteousness in the earth. We have seen the institution of marriage bombarded. The household has been attacked by every evil force. But the Lord is encouraging us that he is dealing with it in this day. How he does, we don't know. But he is encouraging us that the fear of the Lord is coming and people will come under conviction of the Holy Spirit. My prayer is, yes, Lord, send the power of your Spirit, your holy fire upon the whole earth 
to burn up whatever is detestable in your sight. May your kingdom come, may your will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. I hope each one of you has been blessed and encouraged by this message today. Thank you for listening. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings. Bye for now.